Cheers! Uh, welcome to a Wait, movie, bitches. Wait, no, bitch. we can't say cheers. We have to say... Salute. Uh, uh, no. No. They wouldn't that. say that, though. They would say, a cheers. Uh. <laughs> that is true. Um, that, I, can't, I can't argue with that. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to Movie Bitches, episode 259. Today we're reviewing The House of Gucci. Oh, my God. I mean, I will just forewarn you that most of this episode will be talking about accent work. It's just unavoidable. But first things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. And $10 gets you viewing parties. It's very the count. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's, it's become Transylvanian somehow. Good. Second thing second, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches to get $22 off your first month of vino. But the father, when am I going to go out on my own? When can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. You are too special, <laughs> Pinocchio. The world is full of people who oh are my own. Third thing, third, make sure to subscribe, share. Oh! Uh, I was trying to figure out a way to I, do, I, um, too, but I, like, Sophia Loren ooh, or something, right? Yeah, like, I'm yeah. trying to think of an Italian diva. Mm -hmm. Subscribe and Sophia Loren! <laughs> I don't know. No. Just hit the thumbs up and yeah. the subscribe and all yep. of those things. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Okay. Something had to bring us back together to watch <laughs> movies again. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so, yes. House. House of Gucci, yes. the new Ridley Scott film. We got to talk about Ridley Scott for a while. I think actually this is the perfect example. Uh -huh. I was watching this Brian De Palma documentary. Okay, great. And he was talking about how the most interesting work that you'll get out of a director mm -hmm. is when they're from the age of, let's say, 30 to 50-ish. Sure. That's the, that's yep. the time frame of creativity, of maturity, right. of physically being able to do things, of new ideas, of all of it. And it shows. So the fun thing is we're reviewing this now after it has been out for a while, right? It's now on DVD or whatever. Well, that's not a thing, but you know what I mean. On home video. Uh, home video! They took it out of the vault. <laughs> it also is after the Oscar nominations. Of which, which it got I don't know. one. I don't know this. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, so... Wait, it, can I guess? Yes. Okay, I got one Oscar nomination. Yes. Did they give it to Ridley Scott as like a low ball? Nope. Hair and makeup. The hair and makeup guy was Lady Gaga's guy who's been doing all of her hair and makeup forever. And she was like, so he will be coming with me? Yes. So did he just do Lady Gaga's? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think he might have been... Because Adam Driver's... And, and um, Jared Leto. Oh, boy. I have so I much... I mean, to... I will say... The makeup, the situation looked looked good. Sure, that, that wasn't the problem. Your total incompetence. I mean, the whole time I was like, "Is that that's that's Jared? Surely that's but Jared Leto can act though." No, Wait, not in this. But that's no, is it? No. But also, why? Surely not. That's what I don't understand. Why cast Jared why Leto? Why cast Jared Leto in that role? I don't understand. I mean, that is sort of his thing now, right? He's like, uh, oh, like Dallas Buyers Club, a transformation. Sure, then but there like, was something else where he was. This was not the transformation. There's another one. Yeah, he's um, he's like, uh, what's his face? Robert Downey Jr. in the Tropic Thunder is doing too much. Oh, <laughs> I don't believe you, people. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? That seems to be, hey, we're gonna have you right. um, transform. You're you're a beautiful man, right? Beautiful man. We're gonna have you transform. The Joker, wasn't he? Uh, into something else. Yeah. Uh, so you can get an Oscar nomination. It's the equivalent of you know, like no shade whatsoever, but like Charlize, you know, uh, in Monster. Sure. I'm gonna right. trans. You can't take me seriously. I'm too beautiful. Natalie Portman shaving her hair. Yes, it's it's. It's that. Yes. I learned how to do ballet, just like completely by myself. <laughs> I 
<laughs> um. Apparently, the budget for wigs was for Lady Gaga's wigs was ten thousand dollars, which apparently was a lot. I didn't think that, that sounds low. like. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't seem like that much. Particularly for a film that's like over the course of of this caliber. Well, so then there was a whole argument. Ridley Scott didn't care at all about the wigs. He wanted her to only have two wigs he throughout. Didn't, he didn't seem to care much about at it. all about anything. <laughs> I'm going to just say that. Yep. Apparently, he only wanted to have two wigs throughout the entire movie uh -huh. because it would be easier to edit. And I'm like, But that, that's not how that works. Thank you. If you've... Are you if just you've, pulling... If you've created a film, then, you're going to have to change all the outfits, oh, too, then. then wait, what's happening? I, I, what? I didn't understand. The editing. The choices or lack thereof. Yeah. The hair and makeup guy apparently wrote, put together a 400-page book about all of the different outfits for Gaga that he had planned and why and the character study and the, the like Maybe why he her... should have directed the movie honestly though honestly though gave it to Ridley Scott Ridley Scott didn't read it how, how do we know because uh, he said asking. well I mean I don't know if he okay. I mean, it was just pretty asking. clear I think I'm just asking. he also never said a word to the hair and makeup guy great wouldn't talk to him this makes a lot of sense and he's the only one that got an Oscar nomination I love that I love it sidebar yes just finished reading this biography okay. about Sidney Gilderoff, who, I think I'm saying that right, who was the MGM wig and hair guy through the entire golden age of Hollywood. Wow. The stories. I bet. Fun. I mean, he did the wigs for Cleopatra <gasps> and countless other things. But speaking of high wig budgets, I just was, <laughs> yes. I went, ooh. <laughs> yeah. It's important. It is important. A bad wig can ruin an entire movie. Yeah. I will show some evidence right here. Good, I love it. Okay. And even if it's not a wig, Dear Evan Hansen. Oh boy. Not the biggest of its problems. I will say... Spoiler alert? Uh, don't watch this movie. No, okay, because it was bad. <laughs> Except there's probably like a compilation of just... Oh, I think you could definitely distill it into like Lady five Gaga's minutes scenes. of mostly Lady Gaga. Honestly, Jared Leto's scenes were the most entertaining. Laughable. So I will, full disclosure... It was the most engaged. Yes. I saw this movie very drunk and proceeded to get drunker because it was necessary, I feel. And that might be the only way that I could really recommend watching this movie. But at a certain point, I really believe that this movie approaches a density of failure on a showgirl's level. Yes. And I think what's really magical about it for me that makes it fully camp. Okay. Because I tweeted at the end of watching this I'm movie. I'm willing to hear out. I said House of Gucci is camp is Lady Gaga. Because she took this role so seriously. So seriously. That's why I could not parse the tone. No. Nope. It was attempting to achieve. Exactly. Because on one hand, everyone was making the absolute wrong decision at every possible every moment. Every moment. Jared Leto. Except for Oh, she's a real a fire. The cracker. wigs. No, I don't know. Some of the wigs. Some though. of the wigs. At a certain point, she was just in Cher, West Side Story, I'll be playing all the parts drag. Yes. Yes. And I was like, now what is this though? <laughs> she really did look exactly like Cher, I'll be playing all the parts. It's crazy. Yeah, when you're a jet, you're I mean, it's it crazy. Was, I was like, what yeah. is this? What is it? <laughs> you got brothers around, you're a family man. You're never alone, you're never disconnected. Yes and no. Um, perhaps if the director had more hmm. of a vision. I think so. The lack of vision, care, yep. tone. Yep, story, plot. The whole thing looked ugh. Yeah. The whole movie was like, ugh, gray. Is it foggy in here? I can't see. Everything was down, toned down. Yeah. And, yeah. and I was like, man, I'd want to see that outfit in a Brian De Palma movie. Sure. Now, Brian De Palma. But he's already aged out of his, of it. But <laughs> now Brian would be much more interested. Well, I did figure out how to fix this movie. Okay, great. We've gone back in time. Mm -hmm. Ridley Scott is not involved. Great. Tom Ford oh. directs this movie. Of course. Yes. Yes. Fixed it. Oh my God. There's some alternate multiverse. Yes, where, where that, that happened. happened, and there, and it got nominated for all the Oscars. All of the Oscars. Right. But wasn't Tom? I mean, I know it doesn't matter. That I don't think he worked for Gucci. He worked for a different house, or was it Gucci? Did you watch the movie? You watched the film, right? Was he in it? Oh my God. 
Do I not remember any of it? Andrew, did you black out? Is this a peach fucking situation again? Oh no. Did you fall asleep? When does he show up? They hire him and he does a whole fashion show and he's a real fucking weirdo. I don't remember that. There's a whole fashion show and he's like, we're gonna do men's clothes and we're gonna do velvet. Right. I see pole dancers flanking the runways. Female and male, of course. Assless chaps. Yes. Or just chaps, I've been told. Yes. But it's more fun to say assless, assless chaps. chaps. <laughs> the guy, uh, Houston. Oh, from um, Boardwalk John... Empire? Maybe. I think so. Yes. He's John Houston's grandson? Yes. And Angelica Houston's nephew and or son, not sure. Nephew. I forget. I believe. Anyway, that guy yes. brings him in and he's like, well, there's only one guy that is willing to work with us, uh, Marie. Right. Maurizio. And oh, it's God. a guy from Texas. Who am I looking at? He's from Texas. A mechanic? The idea of Tom Ford directing an actor playing Tom Ford in it. Well, no, you know what? Tom Ford would just cast himself. Oh, but he would be too old. I would watch it. But he would CGI himself to be younger. I would watch. I would watch it. How it did been... I not remember oh, that? I don't know, because it was like a whole part of the third That was actually, I do remember now. Like, like that was a whole part, part of, of the it. the third that, that act. Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was where I really started to start zoning out, I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie. When it turned into... Business meetings. Yes. We're very concerned. What concerns you? Numbers. The stuff between her and Salma Hayek. Now, first of all, I well, will say Well, I this. mean, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Who did her hair, though? Oh, no. Yeah. I love me some Salma Hayek. Oh, yeah. Horribly miscast in this. Horrifically. Was she supposed to be Italian? Yes. Okay, great. I, I, I mean, you wouldn't know. <laughs> Together, you can conquer the world. Because <laughs> she just sounds like Salma Hayek. It was so... Being a woman in the world is something that only we know. Yeah, I remember one day, me acuerdo de una vez, I lo digo, when I came to the set and you looked at me and said, Ay, yes, female energy. Maybe I me go, ay, si, 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 ven, Salma, ay. I was so Energia femenina, por favor, por favor. I never knew where I was. No. Are we in Italy now or New York? I don't think they were ever in New York. Yes, they were. Oh. That's where Al Pacino's store was. He was like, come to New York, we'll hang out. Al Pacino? That what happened to my brain? You didn't know Al Pacino was in this movie? Gucci. Gucci? Looks that good. <laughs> I'm so surprised. How drunk were you? I don't know. Wait, I... Al Pacino plays Jared Leto's dad. He's the guy that's trying to get them all to get along, and then he goes to prison. Did you think that was a different person? I thought you were saying literally Al Pacino. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was sorry. Okay. I mean, it, I wouldn't put it past him. Wouldn't put it past him. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. The I actor. Did, I did forget that the actor Al Pacino was in this movie. Great. Because, like, you know, he looked so generic and whatever, but, like... I never knew where we were. No. And I'm not one to ask for Chirons. Right. All of Ron Howard. But I felt like this movie could have used them. Could have used them. I... There was one when they went to Al Pacino's villa and there was a... But that was in Italy. But there, that, they did yeah. go to New York at some point. That store they kept yes, going to. Yes, because I remember to, it looked so garbage. It looks like, but not in a, it's 80s and it's New York garbage. No, it looks it like, just looked it like, looks like, um, what's his face? The Ryan Murphy show. Remember when they we watched the trailer for the horribly CGI'd. Oh, um, boys, boy, the, the boys, oh, boys in the band. I wanted to say the boys from Brazil, different film. Yeah, where it just looked like. Not a real place. Yes. It was like sky kept in the world of tomorrow. You're like, what's this? <laughs> That's why I was like, where are we? Yeah. I genuinely was like, I don't know. And then at some point they went to Switzerland? When they were in that ski, snowy oh, place for no, a I while. Think, I think that was just the Italian Alps. Okay. But, but no, sure. he had to cross the border because he was running away from tax evasion? Uh, Something? I don't know. There was police. And he left on his motorcycle? Right. And, and she stayed? But yeah. then she met him? No. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I didn't either. I don't know what this movie is telling me. <laughs> I felt like I didn't learn one thing no. I still about this know. story. I don't know what happened. No. I don't know. <laughs> and part of it is I was drunk and not paying attention. Apparently. And mostly just laughing but at the I accent I wasn't work. drunk and was mostly paying attention. And I still had no idea what Great. was happening. So I think you really won in the... Or whatever. You did it right. I, I did it right. Because I was just sitting there going, why is everything gray? Yes. Everything is gray. <laughs> ah! 
Even when she had colorful outfits, they were gray. And I was like, ugh. Um, yeah, so Selma Hayek, this right. scene. So Selma Hayek plays, a, I'm assuming, an Italian fortune teller on Italian TV. Because really, it was on like Rai Tre or whatever. This, oh my God. So Lady Gaga is in her house and can't sleep. Right. I think. Yeah. And she's watching TV and she's going through the channels that are all in Italian. Right. Suddenly, yeah. we hear a voice. Oh, I see. I, I'm going to do like Miss Cleo here. Yeah. I won't. But you can imagine. And it's in English. What is your question, Patrizia? But then all of the text on the screen of like call yeah. 1-800, whatever, is in Italian. Yeah. I think this is the perfect segue into <laughs> we have to talk about the accents and the language. Because I don't understand what was supposed to be going on. Because there were certain times that they would say Italian phrases. It was like, you know, ciao. It was very, very <laughs> limited. Ciao, Paolo. You sounded urgent. Wow. I came right away. Okay. It was just little, like, you know, salute. But it that was, was it. It was the Italian that your average American knows. Perhaps. The, at at that's, most. That's definitely yeah. what it was. The spaghetti a meatball. It was that, though. Most oh, of the time, it was pizza just... Pizza pie. It was them speaking in English with horrible Italian accents. And now I will say, mm. like, Lady Gaga's was a little bit better in that if you see clips of actual Patricia speaking English, mm. that is mostly what she sounds like. Great. However, in this story, yes. she wouldn't be speaking English in her bad accent. She I would mean, be speaking Italian. That was just the choice they made. But, but then to have it be sometimes, if, not all the time. And then there was a time where they spoke in French and it had English subtitles. Yeah. But then there was also a time where he's speaking in his Abada accent. I think it was Jared Leto. And he goes... How you say, uh... <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean, how do you say? You're speaking the well, language that you know! All, what of you... His, all of his dialogue was the worst. The worst. He's not exactly a favorite among the exes. In fact, the, they all ate his guts. Was nonsense. He seemed to be ESL. Yes. But only him. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was from different regions of fake Italy. Yeah. I think the worst offender, I love him, but Jeremy Irons was just speaking like Jeremy Irons. Whose idea was that? Huh? It was actually comforting, yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> and it lulled me and I was like, oh, I love your voice. I don't even care that you sound Welsh via Milan-ish. <laughs> oh, 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 a truck driving empire. How many? It's kind of touch and go, I'll be honest. <laughs> I think she's after your money, like they all are. The Reggianis are truck drivers. But I was like, Jeremy Irons is here. Right. Yes. Sure. It was supposed to be Robert De Niro. Oh. It was going to be like a Pacino and De Niro of back course. together again. Oh, I'm glad we didn't have that. I mean. It's just not, to me, it wasn't that kind of movie and it wasn't about them. Like the, the whole movie should have been what about is, Gaga. The, what is this movie about? And about her attempted murder? Was it murder? I don't remember. Does he actually die? Yes. Okay. I don't remember. He gets shot like seven times. Right. Yeah. Right. Then she's on trial. Right. Well, I in remember the, that. The quickest murder trial of it was like that Hitchcock um, scene in Spellbound. Yes. It was like, oh my god, oh, huh, oh, your sentence, ding, ding, <laughs> yeah. ah, oh no. no. It was like a, a ten second montage of a court <laughs> right. scene. And I was like, what? I was like, what? This so what so happened? Like, this should have yeah. been the whole movie. Exactly. Her and been... Salma Hayek. Also, apparently, they cut a love scene between her and Salma Hayek. A, and that's not why, just a love scene, but a love scene. Right, like a, yes, a, like, fully fuck. I mean, they kept her fucking him or getting fucked on the table, the desk of now the what construction. Was, okay, now what, what, was I supposed to be laughing at that scene or not? I don't know. Because I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was too. I didn't know. I was like, what is this? Though? Him like jackrabbit fucking her yeah, on the desk. I don't with know. With the music. Oh my, my god. Oh thing. my god. We will talk about the soundtrack. Oh god. Yes, we have to. One of my favorite things to come from this movie is um somebody, you know the, the Nicole Kidman AMC ad? Yes. Someone re-edited it where the movie that she's watching is not Jurassic World, but is the fucking scene from this. <laughs> and it has the music and whatever. And she's just like... Somehow heartbreak feels better in a place like this. And they're just like, da, 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 da. It's very stupid. I really enjoyed it. 
She puts on his glasses. We had we haven't talked about the Adam Driver of it oh, all. Oh, he I, was um, not good. Well, or was he? I don't know. He, Maurizio, yes, the person. Uh huh. From what this movie conveyed, mm. seems to have been an awkward person. Yes. So I could not parse whether or not. He was so awkward because it was intentional. Because it was intentional, or because it was awkward. Because it was awkward. I could not. But then, at a certain point, he has a 180 and becomes mafioso man. Yeah, he's suave. He's like, oh, I don't need you anymore, Lady Gaga. When he went off on that motorcycle, I was like, who is this person? Exactly. Who? When did this happen? When did this character arc happen? Was it supposed to be that like? She took him under her wing and gave him love, and therefore he, he like was bounced. Struck. Well, yes, certainly. But then, did he find self value in that? And then it was like, well, I don't need you anymore. I've grown past you. And she's like, no, you do need me because I need your money. The movie and then didn't Salma tell Hayek us. is going to help me the plot movie, your murder. The movie did not tell. But us. also, then there was that weird meeting where she was like, no, don't murder him. And Salma Hayek's like, sweetie, I got you. I didn't know. It was all so rushed at that oh, point. Oh, right, because, okay, so she, Lady Gaga is in her villa, and Salma Hayek comes on the TV right. as Miss Cleo Italiana. Mm. Yes. And she calls her. They have a very strange conversation, and this is the first we see of Salma Hayek. It was so odd, and the way that they then introduced them and their relationship was completely... What, I mean, they didn't... What? It was all the scenes that could have been cut that they put in the film. Honestly. It was the opposite of everything I found interesting was the reverse of, okay, now wait a minute. Okay. What was that scene where he took her out on that dinghy and she very slowly took off her raincoat and folded it up and we didn't know what was happening. We didn't know what was happening. And then she put it on the ground. Mm -hmm. Was that so he could be on his knees to, to, to pleasure her? What was that scene? I don't remember. You don't remember that scene? No. Probably because it shouldn't have been in the movie. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's what's so much. It was, just, it was like a two really, and a half hours really long. long, and I took it off, and I'm Rolling folding it, it in a really specific way, and I'm placing it, and I was just like, what? What's this? I, Why is it in the movie? I don't know. Maybe it was the <laughs> struckness of it all. She's got him wrapped around her raincoat. Raincoat. And also maybe the like care of the garments and clothing like she cares about Gucci. You're I don't really know. reading into this. I am. I don't no. even remember the scene. So. Yeah. Mm-mm. But I guarantee you that Gaga had something in her head about it. Oh, she knew. You've seen a lot of the the we have to play some of them because it's okay. crazy. I wrote like an 80 page biography uh, about her uh, myself. And it was something that I worked off of and I read all the time to, to, to just get the story, her backstory inside of me. Yeah, I love her, but it's crazy. Oh yeah. Where she's on this, like they would do these, these like Zoom things of all these actresses that were up for these awards. Does anyone ever, uh, do you ever drink the, the prop drinks and actually feel drunk even though they're not real? I, I, I do. Mm-hmm. What's the prop drink? Just, just like water? Like, like I know it's fake, but sometimes I would really feel drunk, and everyone's just like, "She's method, man." Very method. I studied animals actually for this. I studied a house cat, a fox, and a, a panther. I studied the way that they seduced, the way that they hunted, the way they reproduce, uh, the way that they enjoy themselves. <laughs> You took this to, and she would always talk about how, like, she just would, like, go too deep into it. And there's no pain because the art of it all. And Ridley Scott would have to pull her back because, like, she was hurting herself. And it was like, what's going on? She was she too was serious. She was method. But that, when you when you think about it, like, Mommy Dearest. Yep. Mess of a movie. Yeah. But because she's so earnest in trying to portray this yep. role. Yep. Camp. I it just works. wish this movie I mean, it doesn't work, but it, like. Was... 45 minutes shorter. Oh, absolutely. It's And I wish so that she and Selma Hayek long. had a chips cheersing a chips, moment. I wish that they fucked and we showed it. Yep. I wish a lot of things happened. I wish they had photographed the clothing in a way that made it look appealing. Can we talk about the soundtrack? Oh, oh my God. This lazy fucking... It's like they typed in Italian yeah. and 80s pop yep. into Spotify yes. and hit shuffle. Oh, 
It was atrocious. <laughs> I hated it. Yes. It was one of the worst music supervision outings I'd <laughs> ever experienced. I hated it. Oh, what's a it song was, that was popular then? Yeah. But we'll just get the Italian version. Right. Oy. There was more Italian singing than there was Italian speaking in this film. That is true. Honestly, I just couldn't. How do you say, uh, what? Wait, wait, what are we doing? Bravo. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Jared Leto really was the worst. Oh, but also Adam Driver. She is my family. Like, what are we doing? I wrote down some, some choice. Oh, good. I quoted some, a few things that we need to talk about. I mean, this was like little Italy level accent oh, yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Okay, this was something that Jared Leto said. I love my cousin. Oh, should I say it in a bad yeah. Italian accent? Okay. I love my cousin. He's like a quiet little moose. <laughs> He's quiet like a, like a little moose, a tiny little moosey. Now, Andrew thought <laughs> mouse. that he was saying mouse. I would argue that he was saying moose. Either way, <laughs> what does that mean? Well, a dinosaur posing as a, a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Same scene. Why? Oh, why? You lying sack of potatoes? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Why? Why did you do it? Don't even look at me, you lying sack of potatoes. It was really a lot. Yeah. He went full. He. Now, Jared Leto. Full camp. That was the funniest. I mean, I laughed so much. I laughed so much. Because it was just like. Oh, I, that was definitely when I laughed the hardest. I sold my shares to Gucci. No! <laughs> I sold my shares to Gucci to them. Oh! No! 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 Al Pacino. Al Pacino. <laughs> the actor. Not... Al Pacino, a character in this film. Right, sorry. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> so, quick a commercial break and we'll be back with more bad accent work. <laughs> it's time to take out the trash. Well, there was also like some technical things that were bizarre. Yeah, this is a horribly made film. <laughs> well, I agree. <laughs> but there was some things that were like, surely not. <laughs> You didn't let that go to print. In a, I mean, not that they print things anymore, but there's a scene where Adam Driver's talking, I think to Patricia, but mm -hmm. someone, and it's an over shoulder, it's an over shoulder, but you can see the whole side of his face, and there's an 80 yard line where he goes, My name? Oh, what's your name? My name. Maurizio. But his mouth doesn't move at all. I rewound it. <laughs> And I was just like, wow. <laughs> wow. We couldn't have used, oh, the talk about, oh, we couldn't move around in the editing. I guess her, right. I guess her wig really caused yeah. that ADR issue. What was that? <laughs> I had to rewind it. It was like a Hallmark movie. It was very that. Yeah. Oh, what's your name? My name. Oh, boy. wait, we didn't talk about the mud bath scene between her and Salma Hayek. Oh my God. Which was basically a love scene. Yeah. But when you're right, you're right. And you are very, very right. We've run out of spells. <laughs> Another spell? We've run out of spells. This was the movie. Honestly. It was trying so hard to, I guess, be good fellas? Right. But then, then let Lady Gaga do the voiceover and have it be Banooners. I think it should have been. It's like all of the things I usually am not a proponent of. Right. Voiceover, Chirons yes. to show you what's happening. You know, I think it should have been frameworked in the trial. Yep. And we cut back and forth yep. between interviews. Which or, you, you also know, usually hate. Which I also usually hate. And I was, every one of them, I was like, this would have been a better choice. Yeah. 
than what we have here. Well, because I still don't know what the story is. Not a clue. And yes, I was very drunk, but I, I no incomprehensible. Salma Hayek's role and character it, it really falls apart in the third act, where you're just like. I don't know what's going on anymore. I guess she was like that friend you call when you're like, I gotta kill my husband. I felt like there was more of an opportunity to show her getting struck by Salma Hayek. Yes. But also it shouldn't have been Salma Hayek. No. Because that accent is just so distinctive and distinctively un-Italian. Right. Maybe I can still do something that will work, but for that you have to be positive. It was like, um, you know, Everything that I, Tanya, did correctly, opposite. this did the opposite. Absolutely. I, Tanya, short, yep. fast-paced editing, wonderful characterizations, yes. a point of view. Yep. We're taking this woman who perhaps, I don't, like, I don't, by the end, I was like, am I, who was the main character? Who was the protagonist? Was of this? It, was Gucci? it Patrizia? I, am I, am I, do I have a greater understanding of the position that this woman was in? No. No. Do I understand any of these characters? No. No. I got nothing. Right. Whereas I, I Tanya, you're like, oh, she was a bitch. And then by the end, when you go in, because that's all you would have Yeah, you're like, told. oh, that crazy bitch. Yeah. And then, and you're, then like, you're like, oh, no, okay. No, she got fucked. This is wrong. I, I mean, mean, mostly. You there know, was, there's gray there areas, was, but. There was a, a whole picture was painted of a human person yes. that has flaws. Yes. And attributes. Yes. All of the above. This was just, I don't even know what this was. I couldn't figure out if we were supposed to know if she loved him and also his money, or if she only ever loved his money, I think she loved him. It seems like we and got enough of that. And also, yes. Gucci. Yes. Oh yeah, because, okay, so speaking of never knowing where I was, uh -huh. I never knew when we were. No. I, it or the started, passage of time. Like, the passage of time was nothing, yeah. nonsense. I started and I was like, is this the 1950s? Like. I didn't know. I sure. really didn't. And when I honestly want to watch the movie about Al Pacino's character, when he was young, making shoes for Clark Gable and stuff, I was like, yeah, building up the Gucci empire. I want right. to watch this. Yes. Oh, and the saddlery and the whatever. And this is how we built it. But no, it's yeah. not about that. No. But then I guess it turns out that yeah. it was the 70s right. or the 80s. 80s. At well, it went into the 80s. It bled into the 80s. But how long were they everything married? Everything looked too clean. They were at that costume party where people were just kind of wearing masquerade right ish yeah and everything was too clean nothing looked their hair it's like was that ryan murphyism of it all yes it's a vague photograph of a past that yeah is like yeah it doesn't feel lived in it doesn't feel mm, real it no. doesn't feel and that's been my complaint about most recent ridley scott movies he relies way too much on cgi would stuff you know when you go from like alien where you're like oh that ship was lived in yeah. you know and then you go to like alien Ooh, other one that we watched. Covenant? No. Yeah, Coven. Covenant. 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 Although, Michael Fassbender in that white room. Yes. Michael Fassbender in this movie. No. Too Irish. <laughs> or Scottish or whatever he is. There are Italians that act. Yes. I don't know. That, it, that It's very confusing to me. There's also people that are more Italian seeming. Like, you know what I mean? Right. It's, it's a weird choice. I almost think that they would have been better off instead of Adam Driver doing little Timothée Chalamet. Whoa. Too young. Looking. Too young, probably. Too... But Dune? Ooh. Did you watch it? Yeah, so good. You liked it? I loved it too! Oh, yeah, it was great. Oh, I loved it. I mean, <gasps> Denny. Oh, Denny. I mean, I will say I had an edible and saw it in IMAX, and so I was just like... Honestly, that I think is... It was great. That's the, the way perfect to, way to see that's it. That's the way to do it. Because it's like it, a space opera. It was just like, ooh. it started with guttural tones of a sandworm subtitled i was like oh we are in <laughs> for something thank you denny yes. thank you yes like that set such a tone yeah of just get on board guys yeah just get on board get on board <laughs> And that was, I was, I was just in, I was in, Ooh, enveloped. Yes. It was really, yeah, no, loved it. Uh, uh, first thing I've seen Timothy in that I was like, oh, I liked him. Yeah. A lot of people have complained that he seemed too confident and cocky from the beginning. Mm. Because that character, I haven't read it, so I don't know. But they were saying that like, he really kind of needs to fall into, like, you know, he needs to be more naive and then fall into this. Mm. I, didn't, I understand I that, but I, I thought he was really good. I really, and I, but I do think he's still young for this role. Yes, I liked Rebecca Ferguson. I thought I, Oscar Isaac can get it. Yes, 
Yes. Stellan yes. Skarsgård was fabulous. I thought it was great. It was weird that Josh Brolin just... That was too weird. He he was in a different movie. Away. Well, he was in a different movie, but remember when he just like ran into battle and we never saw him again? <laughs> yes. So I was like, oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Is that in the next? Actually, movie? no. Josh Brolin, I didn't hate as much as um Dave Bautista. Oh, I no, no. You're thinking Jason Momoa. Yes, I am thinking. Dave Jason Bautista Momoa. was great. Yeah, Dave Bautista was great. Jason Momoa was like in his own weird. He was movie. like, "Hey, I'm Aquaman." And you're like, "What are you doing? This is not that well, movie." His name was like Johnny Potato or something. <laughs> it was, was it Duncan I was, Idaho? I was waiting for. Actually, I think that's what it was. I think. Maybe. I swear to God, I think that's what it was. Maybe. I was waiting for them to fuck. He definitely wanted to fuck him. He was like, Timothée was just like, Arr. you know, it was like, okay, go for it. But, you know, it was like that, that gif of Tom Holland looking at, um, you know, uh, no, it was it Tom Holland or was it the other one? Taryn Edgerton looking at Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, you know what really would have fixed Dune is just a hardcore fucking scene between Jason Momoa and Timothy. Yes. Or was Timothy in love with the other, what, with uh, what's his face? Josh Brolin? Josh Brolin, They had maybe. more of like a father, daddy. Yes. Daddy. He was so obsessed with him. That's who it was. He was obsessed with him. He was obsessed with both of them. Well, a little let's bit. Let's be honest. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> that's our sidebar. review of Dune. I really liked it. Can't wait for the next one. Yep. Excited. Yeah. Go watch Dune. Yeah. Really. Really loved it. Really enjoyed it. Much better than House of Gucci. And oh, a boy. movie that was very long. That's my thing. Like, I'm not... I know I say this a lot, and that movies can always be shorter, but then there's certain movies that are long AF, and I'm just like, yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's I don't know. It's a journey. It's about pacing. It's a pacing. journey, pacing. And, and the way the that you tell Unfolding yes. of events. Yeah. On paper, Dune is something I would hate. Right. Dune is what I used to think all sci-fi was that I hated. This faction, and there's 12 different <laughs> people, and those guys are making machinations against these guys, and that kind of creature is that kind of creature, but then there's also these other kind of creatures, and don't worry because it's predisposed that there was, and I was just like, Where's the encyclopedia? Like, the I need a glossary, yeah, a glossary to figure this exactly, fucking yeah, shit out, yeah. you know? But he did it in a way that I thought was. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo, bravo I guess, but yeah. Anyway. anyway, speaking of brava, Lady Gaga. Oh my god. Um, yes. I mean, I, I thought she had some really iconic moments that I really loved. I am being very fucking positive. She went for it. For it. Our name, sweetie, you know, loved it. The, the, I may not be an ethical person. Yeah. Well, you know, it was all in the trailer. Mostly all in the trailer. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. I do agree. I think it needed to be reframed around her. It should be her story. I didn't know who it was about. At all. I, honestly, at the end, I was like, who was I rooting for? What did I, who did I learn about? Nothing. What is going on? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess the main character was the house of Gucci? Uh, that's boring. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But I, I think that's what it was. Yeah. The script Mess. was awful. awful. She has bigger mangles than you. Really bad. Like I said, density of failure. Yeah. Everybody was doing yeah. the wrong thing yeah. in every aspect. Maybe the only way to save this movie is to get David Schmader to record a commentary track. I would love that. Actually, I we should email him because I would really love him to yeah. do a commentary track. I think it might save it. I think, honestly, it would be hilarious. Yes, because even showgirls oh, yeah. at times can be a slog. Yes, especially when you don't it's watch it with his commentary. Especially when that happens, yes. which is rare. I mean, that's the only way to watch it, but yeah. Oh, weird, but Teddy rocks then. Oh my God, at the Christmas, when it was Christmas. Oh yes, oh my God. And I was like, <gasps> God, this movie was like was so like, oh, long. Teddy Ruxpin, yeah! In gray. In gray. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love my Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, yeah, the kids. Right. I didn't have any understanding of how old they were. They, We never saw her pregnant. It was no. like that time passed. So yeah. I, well, I guess it's been nine months. You know, it was just the passage of time, yeah. place, space. Everything was wrong. I don't know where anything happened. Right. Also, the idea that there's, like, children, right? They've been together for years and years now. And they only, I think, I looked it up because I was genuinely like, what time is this taking place in? Like, I didn't know. The Wikipedia page, yes, unreliable. Oh, sure. Right? The Wikipedia page, I think, said that they met at that club in 1979, but then... 
Then a different article said that they had a kid by 1976 or something uh, like that. That's weird. So I was really confused. And they had more than one kid, but right. the movie only had one kid. Right. I didn't, it was like, what, what are we doing? Why? Who Why? Cares? What's happening? Well, it, it, again, either if you're going to do it, do it right. Don't make shit up. I mean, it's kind of Rocket Manny in that sense, where it's just like, what are we doing? It's easy enough to be like, there's two kids at Christmas. Cool. Cool. We don't have to have a storyline about it. No. I did love that scene where she tells Jack Houston off at the children the parking lot before her the kids play. A divorce? Is that what you're talking about? Shared custody? Are we talking about divorce? Is that what we're doing here? That scene was good. <laughs> I don't remember that. He didn't come. I remember. And she was oh, like, and she was he like, couldn't, even, he couldn't show even show up. up? Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, that was a great monologue. That was a good scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Oscar clip that she won't that be getting. That she won't get. Yeah. But yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so what was that scene? The motifs, there are none. Oh. That, there's none. No. There are things that are that happen that never happen again. Right. Adam Driver at some point is in, I think, the New York store. I don't know. And the scene ends with it going to black and white and him jumping off an ottoman and it freeze frames. Right. What was that? It never happened again. It was just, and then that happened. Choices, the tone, some actors were in one movie. I mean, honestly, Jared Leto was in a different movie. I found it to be hilarious. So yes. It was a completely different movie. Also, but, I just feel like there were too many characters. Oh, wait, way too way many. too many. It was hard to keep track. I mean, again, I forgot, like, I kept forgetting that the people were there. It's like, what are you doing? It's too, too. Helter Skelter, it was just a mess. It was a mess. It was a terrible movie. But, camp. I maintain. I don't disagree. Um, there are varying degrees of entertainment. Yes. Camp. Yes. Is this beyond the Valley of the Dolls? No. No. But is this closer to a mommy dearest where there are moments of insanity and then moments of what is that? Yeah. No, but but mommy dear, the color is so well. Sure. If they turn this color up, yeah, to eleven, yeah, it would be full camp. I was like, I, if I, I'm just want to take this filter off. This I wonder. See these outfits. I wonder. Maybe we can like ex we should export a, a little bit of it. And then put it in our phone, and I, I'll like adjust it, and you know, like, please do. Yeah, and we can try and see if we can fix it. Arthur likes me. Uh, we do have a natural advantage. You're not a Gucci. And then, arguably, the most interesting part of the movie, the murder, yeah, is wrapped up in the last fifteen minutes of the movie. I forgot about it. <laughs> you you weren't sure if he actually died. I I couldn't remember. I was like, I think he died, but I don't really remember. Maybe it was an attempted murder? He was shot multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. In front of a building, like yeah. a driveway or something, right? Like a steps. Yeah. Like a steps. Yeah. yeah. The trial is like, right. la, 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 la. Oh, and then... Uh, she went to jail. Text, you know, text right. crawl to be like, and then this is what happened. Over, oh my God, this was the worst. A Tracy Chapman Pavarotti duet. Baby. Like, I was just, it started to play, and I was like, is this fucking Tracy Chapman? And Pavarotti? The choices, choices. that were made yeah. did not like this movie. No. Do not plan to watch it. Again, it was camp. No plans to rewatch. Did not enjoy. Way too long. Convoluted. Yes. Laughed. Was camp. Maybe the key ingredient missing here is that Adam Driver was boring. Yes. If he had turned it up, yeah. it would have... Because, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, like I just, <laughs> just rewatched Kenneth Branagh's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Full camp. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it is next level full camp. He got Robert De Niro to be campy. I mean, that's a hard thing to do. Sure. It was, um. I will have revenge. Frankenstein! I can't deny that Kenneth Branagh is one of my favorite directors of all time because of his. Camp. Untenable hubris. Yes. <laughs> you can't be mad at it. It's no. so big. Yeah. The ego has oh. expanded to the point of it's just so yeah. much. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Um, I, I, you could watch it, I guess. I would say you could watch it with friends, get drunk and laugh at it, and have a good time. And Feel or free. hopefully, 
watch the David Schmader commentary. Oh my, honestly, that's the only way I'm watching it again. Oh, certainly. I don't really have much desire to watch it again. Yeah. The one time is enough. Yeah. Some say Mr. Ford will give Mr. Lagerfeld a run for his money. Do you know that Tom Ford takes four baths a day? Yes, lengthy ones. Well, some of them aren't, and some of them are. Yeah. I he think you're like right. A, that would have fixed like a, the movie. He seems like a nightmare to oh, live with. Yes. Um, I think that would have been one of the greatest movies of our time. Honestly. Had Tom Ford Tom done Ford this. directed it, but also focused on her. Well, he has inside... Sure. I mean, he was there for part of it, at least. It would have been gorgeous. Yeah. The homoeroticism would have been turned up to 11. Yes. Uh, yes. Who do you replace Salma Hayek with? I think maybe she would have worked under the tutelage of Tom Ford. But the accent. Sophia Loren. How old is Sophia Loren? She's ageless. <laughs> She's Cher. Sure. <laughs> Cheers. These are just mock-ups. 